Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are air frying everything. All right, if you're new here, hi, I am Claire. My channel has tons of food and cooking content in it. So if it's your first time here, hello, how are you today? Make sure you subscribe for more of this fun stuff. Now, in almost every food type video I post, I always get at least one comment that says, I always put this thing in my air fryer. And I'm constantly commenting back, I think I should get an air fryer. You're right, I should get an air fryer. So when I got an email from a Amazon store that said they wanted to send me an air fryer to try, I was like, uh, yes. And as a relatively small YouTuber, I get these kind of requests kind of all the time for like really random Amazon stuff. This is the first time that I saw something that I was like, okay, actually that does really uh, very much fit my channel and I would very much like to try your air fryer. So they sent me this air fryer. It's by Kaival Air Fryer AF60. And it looked really fancy and I don't really know a lot about air fryers. Um, but I do know that this is a big one and uh, that it looks like all digital and exciting and like something that I would buy for my house. So this is not a paid promotion. They didn't give me any money to do this. They have not told me what to say at all. They just like hashtag gifted me this in hopes uh, that I would like it and they also get to use um, some of my footage on their Amazon like page if they want to. I will leave a link to this exact air fryer down below. I'm gonna open it up, we're gonna take a look at it and then we're gonna air fry some stuff. Instructions, that's a good idea. Recipe book, it's big but not in a bad way. It's like the same size as my Instant Pot or a Crock Pot, you know? Like, if that's the amount of counter space you're working with, that's what we got here. All right, let's plug it in. Oh, oh, hi. Okay, oh, oh! Okay, apparently you can put the well and the, what's this called? the crisper plate, you can put all of this in the dishwasher. So that's legit, because I was a little bit worried about cleaning it. So you can select the temp, it's all like like touch screeny, there aren't really like buttons if that makes sense. So we have temp menu, which is down here, chicken beef, oh does that say French chips? I feel super British. Toast, um, reheat, Oh, preheat, reheat, defrost, dehydrate. Uh, time on and off, start, start, stop. Oh, I pressed start just to see what was up there, um, but there's no food in there, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna turn it off and pretend that didn't happen. All right, the first thing I'm gonna make is a can of cinnamon rolls because another YouTuber, Emily Norris, my OG favorite YouTuber, she does this all the time and I think it's amazing, so I'm gonna try cinnamon rolls first and I think everyone in the family will also be happy with that choice. All I did was a quick Google search of how long that these take in an air fryer, and it says eight minutes, which is amazing, at 360 degrees. So I've opted not to use the like the crisping plate. I'm gonna put them right in the bottom. I'm gonna go to preheat, um, yes. But I'm gonna change the temp to 360. Okay, that was really easy. I didn't actually even have to like read how to do that. Like it's it's pretty user friendly. And I'm gonna throw a little cooking spray in the bottom there. It's really big. Okay. All right guys, Ooh, I hope this works. All right. Now I'm gonna set the time for eight minutes. Start. Ooh. I like that you can see it too. There are things happening in there. Apparently, it is halogen heaters that make the air fryer work. I had never really thought about it, but they're like popping up already. All right, they are done. Oh my God. I can't believe how fast that was. Mm. 
Next, I wanna try a recipe out of the book that they brought me. There's a recipe for falafel in here, and like, you know I don't eat meat, so that is amazing. And if I can put it in my air fryer instead of actually frying it, that'll make it way healthier. One cup of chickpeas, an onion, some garlic, We've got some cilantro. We got two tablespoons of chickpea flour. We have a tablespoon of cumin. This seems like a lot of cumin, but okay. We also have a tablespoon of coriander. It also calls for a tablespoon of sriracha, which I think sounds like super delicious. All right, and let it rest for an hour. I do wanna point out that the recipe called for parsley, but I thought I had some and I don't. All right, so here is my waffle mix. Um, we have to add now some baking soda and some baking powder. And now you're gonna mix it with your hands, so says the directions, until it's just combined. It makes me regret having long nails in this moment. Before I make these into patties, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this to 375. All right, so this is supposed to make 15 patties. I think they're gonna be like little mini ones, but I kinda wanna make them lar larger than that. I'm gonna spray them with a little bit of cooking spray. And now we're gonna put them on in here. We're gonna cook it on 375 for 10 minutes. Let's see how we did. Okay, I mean they don't look exactly like the falafel you see that are fried, but I think it's more important if they have the right texture. All right, I think for sure with falafel, it's more about having that crispy outside and the soft inside. It's really good, it's really good. I think that might be a little underdone. I think the next batch I'll put in for like an extra couple minutes. I think because I made them bigger. I'll dip it in some hummus. Mm. All right, so when I got my air fryer, I went ahead and asked all my best girlfriends what their favorite thing to cook or the weirdest thing that they cook in their air fryer. And my friend Rachel told me that she makes pierogies in an air fryer and that like blew my mind. I would never in a million years think of it to do that. I normally would boil pierogies and then if I really wanted to go the extra mile, I would then like pan fry them to make them like a little bit crispy. But my friend Rachel does it all in her air fryer. So girl, I know you're watching. We about to do it. All right, I'm gonna preheat it to 400 degrees. All right, so I am gonna use the little thing. I can't remember what it's called now. The thingy, it's gonna go in there. And now I'm just gonna put a layer of these down. I think a serving size of these is like three. So this would be like an easy, thing to do for like the kids for lunch. Coat them with a bit of cooking spray. Hit temp. 400. Time. Eight. There we go. All right, we're halfway through cooking and we are going to flip them over. All right. The time has come. Oh, look at those little crispy babies in there. Oh my gosh, yum. So apparently if you like them extra crispy, you know you just leave them in there for like a little more time. But this looks plenty crispy to me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're like super crisp, but like not crunchy, you know what I mean? Oh my God, that is brilliant. 
Rachel, thanks girl, that was a great idea. These are so good. I'm just thinking about like all of the frozen type things, like convenience foods, um, that as like a busy mom, I like lean on sometimes for like chicken nuggets and all that kind of stuff, but I probably don't have to tell you guys. You guys are probably looking at me being like, yeah, Claire, we know. It's about time you got an air fryer. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you go over uh, to Instagram and follow me on there as well if you wanna see me playing around with this uh, air fryer anymore. Um, thank you so much to the people at Kaival. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Um, I did like Google them a little bit and it turns out they are known for their robotic vacuums that are really highly rated. So I think they're just branching out into other sort of appliances. If you are interested in this exact machine, I will leave the Amazon link down below. That's up to you. And of course, definitely leave me all of your air fryer like tips and hacks and your favorite recipes down below because I have a feeling that everything we eat is gonna be air fried for at least the next two weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.